Hey everybody, I'm Steve and welcome back to the channel where we talk about the joys of stock market investing and long-term dividend gain. If you're first time uh, checking out the channel, hit the subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Guys, uh, it's, we're coming down close to market end. And uh, after some thought, I figured I'd uh, make another acquisition. And uh, what it was is I'm, I purchased some shares of Disney. And uh, what really prompted me to do this today was I was just sitting here thinking. And uh, I was sitting here on the computer looking at the uh, my watch list that went off and Disney, it came up. I didn't give it too much thought at first. And then I decided, I said, you know what, let me take a look at it. And surprisingly, it's sitting at $93.12, right, at present. So what I did was I sat here for a while and then I looked and I just watched and I was like, okay, I got a few more moments before the market ends. We're in the last hour right now. And I was like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a decision. I'm going to go and jump in and buy some stock. So what I did was I just purchased 10 shares of it, right? I purchased in at 93, where's it, where's it? $93 and uh, 14 cents, right? Now, the reason why I did this, and I just made an acquisition earlier today, but the reason why I prompted to do this is the 52 week low is 90 bucks, a little over 90 bucks, give or take some cents, right? And I remember when it did go back to the, it was in the nineties. I was like, oh, I should get some more shares of it. And then I just was like, I dismissed it and went and brought some other shares, you know, a while ago. And I just started thinking, I was like, you know, the streaming part alone right now, I mean, on a theme park is still trying to come back from when the pandemic started and it's, and you know, the numbers are getting back right and, and, and it did good this summer, but Disney's not right back where it was. So, even though we're going through this inflation and, you know, the recession and all that, like I said, they're going to be good values out there for you. And it's going to be good uh, opportunities for you to get certain stocks that you've always wanted or you want, always wanted to accumulate. But when you bought the stock, the stock took off. Disney's one such stock. I had Disney for like two years. Right. And I've been putting my money into a lot of my blue chip stocks that pay a higher dividend. And been ignoring Disney. So this time, looking at the situation, I don't want to let this opportunity go. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought me 10 shares of the stock, right? Now, that's a small, significant amount. I mean, the, the money I paid for it was a lot. But for what I think is going to come and the deciding factor that made me do this was such. And I'm going to just go down the line. I might be rambling. You know, I'm just going to go off the top of my head and I'm going to speak freely about what I was thinking about that. Now, let me stop rambling. Okay. The first thing is, it's the number one streaming platform. If if not, the number one is right up there, right? Now, the only exposure I got right now in streaming, which is a big thing, uh, I have Amazon stock, you know, and then I have a whole bunch of AT&T stock. So I got a whole bunch of AT&T stock, you know, in the streaming part of it. Aspect. That's my majority of my money. And I'm going to get exposure to Disney. Now I only had I, I had shares of Disney, but I haven't been really putting in into it, you know. Now, basically, hear me out, guys. When you get the streaming platform with Disney, right? You get you get Disney, all the Disney movies, all the Disney cartoons. You get Pixar films. You get uh Marvel. What's the other one? Uh, Star Wars. What, what's the last one? Uh, National Ge Geographic. Now you got think about it. You got children's films, action movies, sci-fi movies with a cult following, Star Wars, and you got education with National Geographic and an animal and dealing with animals and stuff. So something to keep attention. Out of all of those five I just named, there's something for everybody, no matter if you're two years old or two hundred years old. There's something you can either learn something on there. They have something dealing with educational. With Discovery, uh, I mean, National Geographic, all the way down to something, you know, to the smallest child with uh, the children's films they have with Disney, right? Now, that's number two, right? Number three, with the Fed, with the Fed prediction, and this is the key thing that I thought about, right? 
the, the Fed prediction of a lot of unemployment, right? They're trying to stop us from spending money. So they're raising the interest rates, you know, to make things more expensive. If we have a whole bunch of unemployment, we're going to have what? A whole bunch of people at home. A lot of the people, you know, besides being men and women are going to be a lot of women that are working and had child care. Now you're not working. You're not going to have a child care. I mean, not women, but like families. You know, I don't know why I said that. There's going to be a lot of families. Now they can't afford child care because some people are going to be unemployed with the kids at home with the parents. You know how kids are. They're all over the place. Disney right there. That's going to be a power play. That's one thing. Keep the kids quiet. Hey, let's watch a movie. Sit them down. You know, buying your time while you're looking for your job or you're waiting for your next opportunity, employment opportunity to come. Disney's in play. It's going to be in play, right? Uh, upcoming holiday season. Kids going to be home from school. You got Thanksgiving. You got Christmas. Holiday movies. Disney going to be in play there too, right? Then you got like, you know, as far as, like I said earlier, with the uh, theme park, right? The theme park is still trying to get back to where it was. The numbers was, you know, pre-pandemic. Uh, the revenue from Disney Plus is helping that out, you know? So it's holding it up. So, I mean, just the exposure of having the revenue from that and the revenue from the theme park, so it's, it's a good avenue to be on as far as uh, getting with the stock. Then we got, uh, it's still growing. You know what I mean? They're constantly coming out with new movies. We got the uh, Wakanda Forever movie coming out. They're, they're streaming movie uh, shows on their network that they're, make, they're, they're developing just for the network. So it's still growing. It's off of its 52-week high, $179.25. Now, you mean to tell me, we was in the bull market, you know, with a stock like Disney that has a cult following, you know, we wouldn't be back up there. So, I mean, best case scenario, if you hold it long enough, you're going to double your money, right? Hands down. Now, Disney's name, that's the last thing I want to talk about, their name. Their name is their moat. Everybody knows somebody, some type of Disney character, a Disney movie, or just the whole Disney iconic logo or a picture of the Magic Kingdom. Everybody knows that. You can go to any country and people know that. Disney films are shown all over in countries, even the countries that don't even like America. And that's a fact, you know. And to me, it's money in the bank. Now, this I'm just thinking forward and I'm thinking about, you know, Small things that, you know, a lot of people don't talk about, but I mean, it makes a lot of sense. So that's the reason why I bought these uh, shares today. And I'm going to continue buying shares of Disney. Now, my thing with Disney is this. As far as. Uh, they don't have their dividend, right? So. I won't be making like mass mass. uh Amounts of buying shares of, of Disney right now. Now, Disney is a stock. Every time it's under $100, I usually pay attention to it and I try to pick up a share or two. But it's not really under $100 too often. And Disney's not one of my major, major stocks that I build off of, you know, in my portfolio. But it's one I added and I wanted to constantly add to as a dollar cost average. But, um, yeah, guys, I mean, I saw the opportunity. I was like, you know what, man, let me go ahead and do it. I mean, it's near its 52-week low. I can jump in there and, and grab a few shares and then feel good about myself later on as the thing grows. And it gives me something else to manage in my portfolio to continue growing my wealth towards the future and retirement, early retirement. But, um, yeah, guys, if you got some Disney or what I said made sense, man, drop me a comment, man. Let me know what's going on. And uh, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me.